Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the Barcelona Career Mode series. We're going to be playing the final Champions League group stage game to start off today's episode. The final game will be against Borussia Dortmund. They are fighting for the second position in our Champions League group. They are fighting Lyon to try and finish in the second position. We are sitting first. We've played five games, won all five games and we will be going through to the round of 16 of the Champions League. Obviously a perfect score so far. I want to go Six games, six games undefeated in the Champions League. That is my goal for this Champions League group stage. This is the Dortmund side. We did play them, obviously, earlier on in the Champions League group stage. And we did pick up a win against Dortmund. So let's hope that we can do that again. I've never really done six games, six wins in the Champions League group so far this FIFA. So that is definitely something I want to do with my Barcelona side. Some players are being rested, the likes of Neymar. Suarez being rested for this game. Iniesta, Pogba. You guys can see the likes of Rafinha, so Sergi Sampa have come into the side and obviously Dortmund have a very strong side in career mode so we can't take them lightly and obviously they want to finish second in the Champions League group to try and qualify for the round of 16. But in the sixth minute of this game, an over-the-top ball finds Lacazette. And what a finish from Lacazette. In the seventh minute, he has put ourselves 1-0 in the lead. And the Frenchman picks up another goal. And like you guys have seen in the previous episodes, this man has gone up to a 90 overall. Yes, Lacazette is a 90 overall in this Mate series. In the 26th minute, dominated a chance on goal, but was only denied by David De Gea. We move on into 37th minute. Yet again, Dortmund with a chance on goal. And De Gea, yet again with a good save. This time, it's Bender with the shot on the volley. And De Gea with some great reflexes, obviously, to make sure the scores remain at a 1-0 advantage to ourselves. From the corner, the cross comes in. And yet again, De Gea deals with it perfectly. They have actually have a shot, uh, their second chance on goal. And it was cleared just before it got onto the line. So our defense doing really good there to make sure that we did have a wall between De Gea and our defense in the 59th minute Lacazette makes his way onto goal great through pass and Lacazette making his way onto goal it's 2-0 in the 59th minute and Lacazette picking up his second goal maybe looking for his hat trick in this game it's a 2-0 advantage and we're on our way to winning all six games in our Champions League group stage in the 65th minute Dortmund making their way onto goal as they're in the penalty area cross comes in and it's Sahin with the header they're unlikely of goal scorers from across Sahin picks up a goal it's 2-1 and now Dortmund are back into this game giving them the confidence here in the 77th minute as I play the ball wide it's Edison Cavani who did come on as a substitute crosses it in it was a free header and De Gea pulls off the save resulting in that we win the ball uh, I think it was Sergi Samper there who did play to Lacazette now Lacazette making his one to goal trying to pick up his hat trick takes a shot and he just goes wide of the goal. Lacazette, obviously, I had so much confidence with this man to try and go all the way there. Usually, I would have cut inside, but I decided just to take the shot with, obviously, the form that Lacazette has been in so far this season. I could have went all the way, but it just went wide of the goal. The game has gone to end in a 2-1 win to us. So, we win all six of our Champions League group stage games. Six games, six wins, the perfect result, which is awesome to see. But where has that left Dortmund? Will Dortmund be going through into the knockout stages? Let's find out because with this loss, Lyon could have won their game and they could have jumped up into the second position. Sahin and obviously Lacazette picking up two goals in this game. They were the goal scorers. But yes, Borussia Dortmund are going through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Uh, Lyon did draw their game. Uh, surprising to see Malmo even picked up a point. So us, six six games played, six wins, uh, with a total of 18 points. A perfect result in our Champions League group stage. We're coming up against Fenerbahce in the next round of the Champions League in the round of 16, Fenerbahce. And that is perfect, guys. Obviously, Fenerbahce aren't the strongest side in the Champions League knockout stages. And that's what we want. We want an easy road to the Champions League final. We are coming up against, I think it's Levante there in the round of 16 of the Spanish Cup. And then taking a look at the league table, we're obviously sitting first, but Real Madrid have caught up to us. They have the exact same uh, win, draws, and loss record compared to us. And I feel like we've had a fantastic start to the season. But when you look at it, it's not really a great start to the season because Real Madrid 
are just behind us, not just behind us, they are on par with us. Both teams are on 30 points. As we're jumping into some league action against Deportivo, obviously that game against the Champions League, now we're jumping back into some league action against Deportivo. This game is away, and we pretty we have a pretty good record when it does come to away games so far this season. This is the Deportivo lineup. They're starting 4-2-3-1 formation. Obviously, a team that I really don't know too much about, but that, that game against Dortmund was a midweek game. That's why there are a few changes to the lineup. But we do have some stars coming back into the side. Messi, Suarez, Neymar, Pogba, Halilovic coming into the side, obviously, to uh, come into the side for Murray Goethe. Iniesta will also be coming into the midfield. David Alaba as the left back. David De Gea yet yeah, again in goals. As in the fourth minute of this game, Iniesta making his run to goal. He takes a shot, and this man cannot stop scoring. Andres Iniesta picks up another goal. Actually, in the previous episode, Iniesta picked up two goals in one of the Champions League games in the last episode. And this man, he's becoming a goal machine, and he is 33 years of age, obviously getting into the latest stages of his career, but the way he is playing, he's playing so well, and there is no need to get rid of Iniesta. Uh, it, Deportivo did have a chance on goal. It was a pretty much an easy save there for De Gea. In the 50th minute, Pogba with an over-top ball to find Lionel Messi, who cuts it back outside the penalty area, takes the shot, and Lionel Messi take a bow. You guys did see that goal. He took it outside the penalty area, but what a finesse shot. Really, with a one one uh a one-step shot, and Messi has put that one into the back of the net. Pogba over the top ball, but the replays will show just how good of a goal that was. He cut it back inside. The defender went with a sliding challenge, and that is just an unbelievable finish from Lionel Messi. He hasn't really done that too much so far this season. I have seen your guys' comments of bring Messi more into the play. But really, Messi just hasn't really been playing too well so far this season. But it's great to see him pick up a goal to make it 2-0. And let's hope that Messi can get back to his best in this third season. In the 63rd minute, Deportivo are on the attack. They cross the one back post, cross it back to the, the left-hand side of the post. And they're going to pick up a goal. It's a headed goal. It's now 2-1 in this game. As we move on into the 80th minute. And Deportivo had all the confidence in the world. Playing an over-the-top ball to Harnik. As he's going to make his one to goal. Plays it inside. David Alaba tries to clear it out. Straight to the Deportivo man. Who plays it wide. David Alaba was out of position. And it's a goal for Deportivo. And after being 2-0 up against Deportivo. Feeling like we're going to pick up all three points. Messi picking up a goal. Deportivo have picked up two goals in the second half. The game is going to end in a 2-2 draw. And we drop two points right at the end of this game. Deportivo picking up two goals back to back. And after being 2-0 up, looking like we're going to secure that three points. We drop points against Deportivo. But after that game, I do want to take a look at the stats of Iniesta. And you guys can see 13 appearances, 4 goals, 8 clean sheets for a midfielder, more of a CDM. That's fantastic. He actually picked up 3 goals in 2 games in the Champions League group stage, which is unbelievable for, for Iniesta. And obviously, he actually picked up his first goal in the league in the previous game. But we're heading into the final game of today's episode. This game is against Rayo Vallecano. And after being 2 2 nil up and suffering two goals to have a 2-2 result. We want to hit back in this game. This is obviously at home. Our home is a fortress at the moment. So we want to keep it a fortress by picking up a win here against Rayo Vallecano. Re we really should do so. Suarez, Sanchez, Lacazette, Mario Goethe, Rafinha, Sergi Sampa, Gerard Piquet, Mateu. That just really shows that for this game, a lot of players are being rested against Rayo Vallecano. They're starting a 4-4-2 four, four, uh, four, four, formation. Really a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two formation. This similar formation that, that I did use in my previous career mode, the Chelsea career mode. But in the 14th minute of this game, Rayo Vallecano are down the wing. They're making their way inside the penalty area. Cross comes in. Rodriguez with the rebound. Pique's uh, chest was about to cross over the line. And you guys can see right here the, the goalkeeper physics in FIFA 16 are absolutely appalling. Pique was about to take that one over the line for a corner. De Gea comes off his line to make a diving save. I don't know why. And Rayo Vallecano lead 1-0. Moving on into the 34th minute. Rayo Vallecano down the wing. They're going to play the ball inside the penalty area. Shot. It comes off the post. 
after David De Gea did get a hand onto that one, and Rayo Vallecano lead 2-0, and we're playing this game at home. I don't understand what is happening. We take a look at this replay. De Gea actually got a hand onto that one, but it was not enough. My defense were all over the place, the likes of Montoya. Rodriguez, Mateu, Gerard Pique just did nothing to even try and stop Rayo Vallecano's goals. In the 45th minute, they're making their way inside the box. Cross comes in into the back post. It's easy as that. It's 3-0 to Rayo Vallecano going into halftime, and my team has crumbled. We were a team who hadn't conceded a goal for about seven games, and now, since that 2-2 draw just in the previous game, my team just felt so sluggish, and I just couldn't do anything about it. You guys did see I've traded up the formation to go with that 4-2-2-2 formation, something similar to the Rayo Vallecano formation. It just didn't work out. In the 67th minute, they could have made it 4-0, but the Haya pulled off a save. And the game is going to end in a disappointing 3-0 loss. Yes, guys, going into today's episode, you guys... We're probably thinking that a 3-0 loss to our team would be unthinkable. But it has just happened to a team like Rayo Vallecano and we have lost 3-0 in that game. And we really have to change our form coming to the next episode because we will be hitting the January transfer window in the next couple of episodes. I'm pretty sure it's not that next episode. I think it's the episode after that. So in another two days, we'll be hitting the January transfer window. We have to hit back in the next episode. We can't afford a 3-0 loss yet again, and we can't afford conceding three goals. We were a team who barely conceded. Now we're conceding three goals. Things need to change, and things will be changing during the January transfer window, guys. Mark my words, big changes coming during the January transfer window. But that is how we're going to wrap up today's episode. We have lost the first position, and now we're five points behind Real Madrid. And Real Madrid are looking very good so far this season. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, go support me by dropping a like rating. Drop a comment down below that I can respond to. Subscribe. Also, if you are new around here, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All links are down below in the description. So is a full series playlist. And I'll see you all on my next video.